There's always certain entities around. But I'm okay lah. So right now we are going to an occult shop, which is a shop that sells um, supernatural relics and stuff. Also, I'm Catholic, so by right this shouldn't mean a thing to me. But content. I very scared my priest see this and he texts me, yeah. If let's say right after this, right, then I go and buy 40 for example, right, then I win, right, I'll be pissed then. Hello, sir. Hello. I see behind you have diplomas in... Yeah, this is uh, something that I pursue as an interest to keep myself updated with the latest techniques. Now, I heard from your, your colleague that you also can see stuff. Right. I'm seeing a lot of uh, purple and a lot of red around you. Those people who are charged with emotion, like angry right. or stress, you'll see a bit of violet tinge in them, a bit of red. This is the one with the most interesting aura. This. Let me be very, very frank with you. In my room, uh, there's always certain entities around. Always. Right, how's so my aura you, now? Your aura right now, if I look at it this way, uh, is uh, pretty average. Your aura is actually about two or three inches out of your body. If it's normal, right, it's usually those whitish, grayish hues and all that, right? Then those people who have a lot of uh, negative energy, there will be a grey uh, black hue around you. But I'm okay lah. You're fine. Okay, good to know. So, how does someone get into something like this? It all starts with interest. Uh, the first interest I had uh, with anything even related to religious things was with Thai amulets. Right. It was actually in relation to an amulet called Prapita. Prapita so. is uh, the Buddha which covers the face. Uh. Allegedly, if you wear that pita, right, you become invincible. So those just Prapita amulets are very, very rare, very expensive and in great demand. Right. So why else do people come to you? Most people come to me uh, for love and reconciliation issues. Lah. Some of them are having difficulties in their marriage. They want to resolve it. How much is this service? Helping reconciliation. We have a standard rate of $600. That's oh, what that's we okay. start off with. Low price for love. There are certain spells, there are certain mantras, certain yeah. rituals when if you do properly, uh, if the two people are meant to be together, there's a possibility to make them return by mellowing their heart, having them have thoughts. Right. Does that feel wrong? No, I don't think it feels wrong. Lah. Wrong is when you sit back uh, and let uh, things happen uh, which are not meant to. Like if you know that the person broke up because of abuse, physical or verbal yeah. or otherwise, then I'm not going to help such a person get back together. But what if they are meant to be? No one is meant to have abuse. Uh, Keep on to them physically. Yeah. So even if they are meant to be, that is not my problem. My problem is to ensure that whoever I'm doing this for, whatever I'm doing for them is, you know, beneficial, yeah. is wholesome. How about exorcism? Exorcism, sometimes uh, we don't even get paid for it. Right. Those people with that type of issues, you have to look at the situation, look at the type of spirit infesting, and then from there make a judgement call. Because sometimes some people come, they're just high, they're on drugs, they're drunk. We do have people tell us that we don't know what we're talking about because they are convinced that they are possessed. See, the sickness of the mind uh, is very hard to conquer. You want to go to someone who says you got 10 spirits or 100 spirits inside you and charge you so much money for a case, when there's nothing wrong with you, I believe that is what you really call cheating. Right. Can we look at your shop? Definitely. Please. What does all these relics like do? These like, are not relics. These are, are actually these a million amulets. years ago? Or? No, no. They are not. The oldest amulet I have here would be about... <sighs> 400 years old. Oh shit. Which one? This is a piece like, close to 400 years old. It is believed to be a very powerful relic, uh, having a positive divine energies. Right. We have two types of customers. Uh. One is uh, the person who know what they want to buy. 
Right. Then another type, he has a problem or she has a problem. They don't know what to get for it. So we will explore with them what they can take, what they cannot take. We'll ask right. them, you know, you got any religious beliefs. Mm. They will usually tell us what is wrong with them, what kind of problems they are facing and encountering. And then we will also usually advise them to give us a budget to work with. Then within right. that comfortable range, we will try and get you something uh, that is good and effective and would work for you. Right. What's this little, um, what's these little sticks? These little sticks are what we call takrut. So this is our wealth and prosperity takrut. So this one I created myself in 2014. The yantras I chose, the type of words to write, and then the type of energies to impart in view into it. Uh, all these I read from books. I studied tantra, so I created this as something unique. So who, who buys this? Like, I got bankers, I got lawyers, insurance agents, taxi drivers, basically people from all walks of life. Can I touch it and stick yes, some energy? Yes, you can. So can you tell me what about the rituals that I'm doing today? So that is the well-fetching ritual. We will do that here. Yantra that I draw on my palm after applying certain glass oil and putting gold flake there. Then I'll chant a certain mantra. It's supposed to invite wealth and prosperity into your life through the blessings of Mata Lakshmi or the goddess of wealth. There's a needle involved. That it won't hurt. Om Shri Lashmina Rayanayana, Om Yakshi Rajkubi Rayanayana, Om Shri. Okay, now just follow me like this, rub your hands like this, create time, and do it like this. And one, two, three. Hwada! Hwada! Okay. Knowing and being so involved with the supernatural world, what do you think happens when we die? I have good ideas about what happens. But then my ideas are based on my religious beliefs. But then if you want to talk about definitive proof of what happens after life, well then no one can give you this. Unless we talk to those people who have had near-death experiences. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem, bro. Okay, so that was fun. And like, you can tell that she is very hyper-aware that he is dealing, like everybody that comes through this door, especially people like us, ah, with yeah. cameras, right? That yeah. We are all skeptics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he is still as authentic as he can be. Yeah. But yet, you don't feel like you don't believe him, you know? Yeah. He never tried to make everything feel like uh, this is some voodoo magic shop we can cast spells.